Hi, Dr. Talbot here again to talk about the second pillar of health, which is to control inflammation. The word inflammation is derived from the Latin inflammare, meaning to set on fire, because an injury or an infection is typically red and warm and painful. Inflammation is a process controlled by the immune system that protects us from invading bacteria and viruses. But this process also helps regulate heart function, blood flow, and many vital functions. So maintaining a normal balance of inflammation is critical to good health and vigor. When this balance becomes disrupted, we experience more inflammation and increased pain along with less flexibility and reduced mobility. When we have too much inflammation, this process that's supposed to be protecting us actually causes more and more damage. For example, an overactive inflammatory response is known to stimulate bone breakdown, leading to osteoporosis, interfere with cartilage repair, leading to, leading to a worsening of arthritis, and accelerate muscle breakdown, leading to flare-ups in conditions such as fibromyalgia. Inflammation is also involved in emotional balance and brain function. So when our bodies experience too much inflammation, we simply don't feel happy. Instead, we feel mentally exhausted and burned out, obviously the opposite of vigor. Let's keep in mind that not all inflammation is bad. Inflammation is part of the normal healing and turnover process for any tissue. It's just that when we get too much inflammation, that things go awry. For our purposes in this video and in the Secret of Vigor book, we'll label this state of too much inflammation as chronic inflammation. And with chronic inflammation, healing is suppressed and tissue dysfunction accelerated. Your body simply cannot heal itself or manage itself when inflammation is out of control. It may help you to think of chronic inflammation as you would think of a fire in an apartment building. Let's say you live in a 20-story apartment building, and that building represents your body. Then a fire or inflammation breaks out on the 15th floor. The fire causes destruction or tissue damage to the entire 15th floor, but your penthouse apartment on the 20th floor is perfectly fine. To put out the fire, you call in the firefighters, which in your body would be the immune system cells, which may cause a bit more damage by tearing down some walls and spraying water or cytokines if we're talking about your body, all in an effort to solve the bigger problem of putting out the fire. Let's now say that the 15th floor is a complete loss, while other floors suffer some repairable tissue damage water damage on the 14th floor, and smoke damage on the 16th floor. The repair process would then begin on all three floors, with carpenters, painters, and other builders being brought in to repair the damage. On floors 14 and 16, where the damage is less severe, the repair process might be complete in a few weeks. While on the 15th floor, where the fire was concentrated and the damage was most severe, the repair process might take a year. Your body also has an entire team of builder cells in each and every tissue. In cartilage, these builders are called chondrocytes. In bone, we call them osteoblasts. In muscles, we know them as myocytes. In skin and some other tissues, we have fibroblasts. The list goes on and on. In your own tissues, you can have the equivalent of a raging fire and firefighting, or tissue damage and inflammation, but if you're not able to shut off this process, that is, if your level of inflammation is thrown off by something, then your body is in a, in a continual state of destruction and pain. You'll never be able to get to the rebuilding and the repair stages unless you can shut off this process of chronic inflammation. That chronic inflammation is not only a problem that affects the way you feel on a daily basis or the level of vigor you experience, it also contributes to the development of serious health conditions, including several that I discuss in some detail in the Secret of Vigor book, including heart disease, cancer, and obesity and diabetes. When we look to control inflammation naturally to improve vigor as well as to improve health, our approach to controlling inflammation needs to be multifaceted. This is one of the many ways in which synthetic single-action pharmaceutical drugs fail miserably. 
Drugs are single molecule, single chemical entities that work on one biochemical mechanism, and they do it in a very powerful way, sometimes too powerfully, leading to serious side effects. If the recent history of medicine has taught us anything, it's that these single action modern pharmaceutical drugs, these synthetic silver bullets, previously unknown in nature, can have serious adverse consequences. Luckily, there are a number of natural options that you can pursue to control inflammation and pain and help to restore your vigor. Here are just a few to consider, with many more covered in my book, The Secret of Vigor. The first one is exercise. Numerous studies confirm that moderate exercise reduces inflammation as well as C-reactive protein, which plays a role in heart disease. One study from researchers at the Emory University School of Medicine in Atlanta and published in the Archives of Internal Medicine in 2002 found that the more frequently you exercise, the lower your overall level of inflammation. The study looked at nearly 4,000 U.S. adults aged 40 and older and found that exercising approximately five times per week was associated with almost a 40% reduction in overall inflammation. Another factor is sleep. Sleep is crucial to your health and vigor in countless ways, including helping to control chronic inflammation. In one study, researchers from the UCLA School of Medicine and published in the Archives of Internal Medicine 2006 found that even a single night of disrupted sleep increases levels of inflammation throughout the body by a factor of two to three times compared to normal night of sleep. Another factor you can use is herbs and supplements. Dietary supplements such as ginger, turmeric, and mangosteen are effective natural options for controlling inflammation naturally. Many other herbs and dietary supplements also help to control inflammation. For instance, the sap or resin of the boswellia plant has long been used in traditional Indian medicine to treat arthritis and other inflammatory conditions. Chapter 10 of the Secret of Vigor book has much more on using supplements to address inflammation as well as the other biochemical processes outlined in each of the four pillars of health. As indicated in previous videos, the biochemical processes of oxidation and inflammation are inextricably linked. They go hand in hand through common immune system pathways. The immune system both responds to and creates oxidative free radicals, and both responds to and creates inflammatory cytokines. Normal inflammation exists to protect us from invading pathogens, virus, bacteria, and even uncontrolled cell growth that could lead to cancerous tumors. Sometimes, however, the walling off and destroying process of the immune system's inflammatory response doesn't shut off the way it's supposed to. Immune system cells such as macrophages, which fight bacteria, or neutrophils, which fight viruses, or natural killer cells, which fight tumors, respond to free radicals as if they were toxins. A small amount of free radical signaling is a good thing for immune cells, keeping them vigilant to defend us against real pathogens. But when free radical exposure becomes excessive, immune cells release a wide array of pro-inflammatory cytokines, such as interleukins, to wall off tissues from further free radical damage. And that can lead to chronic inflammation, as well as a cascade of diseases, including heart disease, obesity, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and certain cancers. Fortunately, our Western lifestyles are a perfect recipe for increasing chronic inflammation, with our high intake of sugar, refined carbohydrates, and saturated fats. That diet, combined with low levels of fiber, infrequent exercise, and sleep deprivation, make it more likely that our inflammation becomes too high and stays high. To sum up, the walling off aspect of the inflammatory process is an ideal response to keep viruses or bacteria from moving into other parts of the body. But free radical generated inflammation encourages immune cells to fight ourselves in a vicious cycle of oxidation and inflammation, which tends to create more problems and eventually leads us to a lower state of vigor. When we seek to restore vigor, we can't just manage only oxidation or just inflammation and stop there. 
we really need to continue up the biochemical cascade to also control glycation and stress hormone exposure. And the next two videos in this series about the four pillars of health will explain why and how. I hope to see you there.